welcome back to this channel. Today is going to be a very, very fun video because today is part four of building the aquaponics series. Today is going to be a very, very packed full video. In fact, it is going to be so busy. I'm filming the intro the night before. So right now is about 11 p.m. I'm going to be waking up early tomorrow, going up to the pet store, and I'm going to pick, be picking up all the fish. Now, the reason why I am starting tonight instead of tomorrow morning is because I really just kind of want to do like a, just a preview, everything that's really been going on, kind of the reason why we're going to be getting more stuff there instead of fish, and um, just a little bit of some time to just kind of talk about this and do like a small recap. And um, yeah, so before we start, please subscribe, hit the bottom kitchen, and also you not miss out video. Please like this video. Let's get start. All right, now first of all, we've had so many problems with the fish tank. Now, probably, they're not the most significant, but we've had a little some problems kind of with the heater, kind of just everything staying in its spots. We've had some problems with the rocks. Luckily, we fixed a lot of that, so hopefully it should stay like that, but we've had a lot of problems with the pump uh, kind of floating off its area. Uh, just the other day ago, I woke up and the pump was all the way over here instead of being stuck in the corner right there. Also, our tubing, the hose we were planning to use to hook up to the biofilter does not fit. So we're gonna have to go up to probably Lowe's, probably bring a lot of the pieces, figure out everything that we are uh, just need, maybe some extra stuff for some other projects we're gonna be working on later on, but uh, we won't be talking about that for a long time. Um, so we've done a lot. To be honest, we were actually hoping to get the fish today, but we've had some problems and we weren't able to pick up the fish and uh, just we didn't have enough time. Actually, I was so busy today, I didn't even have time to do a video for Tropical, which is my slime shop. And then I didn't have any time to do a video for this channel. So I'm missing the video from yesterday. If you guys were wondering, that's kind of what happened. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning when we're heading over to the pet store. All right, we just finished up at Lowe's, got some pieces there, and now we're heading to Petco to pick up the goldfish. Usually we get a shipment uh, every two, three days. All right, we got the fish. I'll see you guys when we get to the greenhouse. Okay, so we got the fish. The bag is sitting in it, getting their water about the same temperature as the fish tank temperature. But, uh, so we did run into some issues at Lowe's. So I'm gonna be talking about what we are doing instead to make sure the biofilter works as efficient as possible. So also, we got some snails too. So, just to clean the fish tank a little bit and make it more good. So, first of all, we got two different types of just hoses. We have this big one. It's more of a, kind of like a heater, just more of a heated type of hose, more designed. Um, and then we got some Gorilla Glue and stuff like that. And then we are going to be gluing both of those together. Now, wherever the pump went, um, we're going to be putting the pump up. The pump will pump it up. Then it'll go through this clear hose. And then, so we'll glue the pump hose to this. And then we would cut this to probably a short length. And then we would glue this to that. And we would put that against the actual filter. And then hopefully, Cross my fingers, the pump is strong enough to pump it through this and to pump it all the way up into the hydroponic system. But it probably will, to be honest, it's a really, really strong pump. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be leaving the fish and the bag a little bit longer, probably. Well, I'll just have to see on the water temperature and all sorts of stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do some research on that area. And then I'll probably do an update here and there, probably um, just all sorts of stuff. I'm really thinking, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of fish. 
Well, let me rephrase that, actually. I'm fine with fish. I can touch the fish. I'm just not a huge fan of them. They kind of are just... I find them interesting, but I really feel like since I kind of built the system, I have a lot more um, just... Well, I don't. I can't exactly find the word exactly what I'm trying to find. Just a lot more respect. That's the word. A lot more respect for fish. Um, I'm finally touching them now, um, and it's just kind of funny to see like once you actually start working with something, try to get like you to do something, you start finding a lot more respect for stuff. Like to be honest, when I first built the grow room, I wasn't that big of a plant lover. I mean, I would grow stuff here and there, but not as how much I love it now. Because every second of this, it's always a new day. It's always something amazing and fun to do. And I really feel like the next step of that is going to be working with fish. And I'm really excited to start uh, just learning a lot more about fish. And um, letting you guys on to the journey of just learning all about fish. So, I think I'm going to just let these bags slowly change the temperatures. And then once we open up the bags... Um, and let the fish free. Uh, we probably won't do the same with snails because to be honest, snails, I mean, I'm fine with snails, but they kind of disgust me a little bit more. Um, but I'll probably take out the fish and then start putting in the plants or I might do something like that. I really need to put the pump in first before I do the plants. And um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna start doing that. Also, I did not talk about this yet. We have a net. We're gonna use this for plants. It is breathable, uh, but it's just kind of like a net for plants and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, we're gonna put that over. We're gonna test it for a few days, make sure it is breathable, make sure air can get through it. Um, and then we're gonna put it over the thing so um, when the fish do get more excited during like feeding time or like um, just more like that, uh, they don't jump out on accident and then we wouldn't be in the room when it happens. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that and I'll see you guys in a second. Now, before we do take the fish out, I really do wanna kind of explain the biofilter situation a little bit more. We have made sure all our pieces will fit together. So um, the odds of it not working is low, really, really low, but it's still there. Uh, the only thing that is a little bit Nerve-wracking is uh, usually you're supposed to have your biofilter going before you get your fish. Well, you should have your biofilter working for about 24 hours before you get your fish in the system. So, um, it's not really great. We're going to be turning it on a little bit after we put the fish in. But at the end of the day, we'll be turning the system on uh, later tonight. The video will be over by the time we do turn the system on. But other than that... Uh, the system is ready for the fish. We just have to put in a few things together. We have to glue stuff together pretty quick. And then uh, the Gorilla Glue is uh, fast um, drying. It takes about 24-ish hours. Well, it's 24 hour recommended, but we'll probably do maybe 12 or something. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, and it looks like the snails are starting to go, which is really cool. Oh yeah, you can see them going. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, so, um, and it's looking like the fish are starting to do good still. Starting to thrive. Um, and yeah, all right. So, we've made a lot of progress in the last 10, 20 minutes. We have the pump going all the way up to the biofilter, and we have the pump going all the way out of the biofilter. And then we haven't officially hooked it up yet, but we're just gonna let it sit for about 24 hours. Um, I might go a little bit less than 24 hours, but 24 hours would probably be the smartest thing to uh, do. Um, there is still a little bit of some problems we could have or just run into. Number one, pump not being strong enough to go all the way through that. Pump it all the way through the filters and then all the way up the tube to the very top of the system. Then, the next thing is going to be some of the pieces aren't glued. Most of them aren't glued. This piece right there going into the black hose is glued because that one didn't fit as tight so we had to Gorilla Glue that one so we were going to have to wait 24 hours for that to dry. Uh, same with that side, we did that side also. But this 
right here we could not get it to go as far as like this one so i'm really hoping that does not leak but just in case it would happen to leak we're going to put it in a bin for a while um and if it doesn't leak for like a month or something we might take it out but we'll probably just keep it in the bin just to be safe um because to be honest i'm only in this room a few times a day in the morning after school and at night to make sure everything goes good so i probably not in here probably about four hours and then i'm in here four hours and i'm in here and the night goes by so probably about eight hours so i really wouldn't want something to leak for eight hours and then i come back in the room and then the entire fish tank is on the ground so that would probably be the worst case scenario but we do have um vacuums just in case that would happen to happen we do have vacuums that can get it out of the get it off the ground very quickly um sadly we ran into that problem when we did the first system in a different area so that's kind of the reason why we have that system but other than that um uh yeah so we're gonna let the bag sit probably maybe 30 minutes to an hour maybe uh and then yeah so we will probably just let the system circulate normally and then um once we actually put the system together like put the pump in and then put it in that corner and then start it make sure it's working right we'll probably put the plants in so the plants might go in maybe two in the morning or something i usually go to bed a little bit later um especially when i'm really busy so um, it'll be very interesting to see but once i'm done with this project and it's running good enough um i'm gonna start really doing a lot of plants over here there's so many plants i really want to work with uh spinach parsley uh cucumbers uh peppers tomatoes strawberries so many flowers uh dill mustard so many i could just name a huge list of stuff i really want to try so it'll be very interesting i wasn't planning to show this on today's video but since we're on the topic of this we actually have a strawberry starting to turn red so that is absolutely incredible and stuff is growing very well uh and then yeah so I guess I'm gonna take about an hour break and then come back in here, film some more and go ahead and dump in the bags and yeah. So, yeah, all right. So it's been about 30-ish minutes since I did my last update. We got all the plants in. We still have a lot more plants kind of behind there. I'll probably grab a little bit more and try to cover up the pump a little bit just to make it look cooler, to be honest. It is not necessary we are adding all these plants, but at the end of the day, they still look pretty cool, and I still feel like, at the end of the day, the fish might like them. So, uh, plus, it'll give them a fun area to kind of swim through them, uh, fun stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, so, kind of looking at the fishes, so far, they're pretty calm. I think there's one I've been keeping my eye on that hasn't moved much. So it's getting me a little bit nervous about that one in particular. So we might be down to nine. Um, but other than that, uh, they still look pretty good. The snails are doing really well. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just get ready to dump the fish in. And then tomorrow morning, I'll probably put the pump in, cover it up with rocks once the, while the fish are in, and turn the system on. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in about five minutes. That one just oh my I gosh, got sucked so out. Squeeze. All those fishes are trying to swim to the top. It's time for fishes to eat. Which one are we talking about? Yeah, they're all swimming. That one's swimming too. It's just looking at that. It's looking at dead shoe. So yummy, so yummy. Hmm. Well, look. These are not used to it All right, so the fish tank is pretty much put together. From this side view, you can see the fishes swimming. There's one right there. There's the white one right there. Um, there's a ton. Uh, so, so fun. I think we're gonna be picking up some more later on, probably not tomorrow. Um, and we're just gonna be seeing what happens. The biofilter's not on, 
which is a little bit nerve-wracking, but at the end of the day, hopefully that should be okay. All the fishes are kind of huddled up in the corner, which is interesting. So I did feed them in that spot, so that's probably why. But I hope um, they don't huddle over there, and I put the pump in, and then, yeah. So I don't really want them to feel clustered, feel like they're out of room, so I might take out some plants every so often to see how they are. But sadly, uh, I was going through each fish, making sure each one was good. Pretty much all of them are good enough. Um, just alive, what I mean by that is just, so pretty much one fish sadly did not make it. I was kind of saying that earlier. So we were down to just one fish. Well, we were down to one dead fish, um, but yeah. So it'll be very interesting to see how it is. I think I'm gonna feed them probably in about three hours again. And then, yeah, so definitely doing good. I might try to hide the bubble area a little bit better because it looks like there's a fish swimming through there right now. It'll be definitely a fun experience to do that. We did put the net around it, so I do really hope that is strong enough to hold it. Some of the stuff, like this thing is holding the net back over there, but that is a temporary pump. Then I'll probably cut a hole for this pump and then the it'll go through there. So yeah, it'll be definitely fun. To be honest, the snails are down there. You can't really see it, but they're down there. When we dumped them, they were on top of each other. So now um, they're still on top of each other. So I'm not really going to say what's happening there. But other than that, uh, nothing too bad is going on. Everything's working correctly, which is very, very, very exciting. And yeah, so after a long five days, pretty much five parts to the series, this the system's finally done. All we really had to do is turn on the biofilter and that'll be for a final video, kind of like the finale of the series. And yeah, so if you guys wanna check out the other parts, if you guys happen to miss it, I would really appreciate it if you guys would check that those videos out. And yeah, this is gonna end the video. So if you guys like these types of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell notification and all so you not miss our video and please like this video. If you guys would happen to know anyone that would like this, type of video or this channel please recommend this channel to them and if you guys think anyone would like this series we've done the last few days please recommend this series the series was pretty expensive um, after all the purchases we had to do plus all the stuff we had to return it's been a crazy busy last five days trying to make this work as efficient as possible and finally today it's really starting to do really well so i'm very very excited about that so yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. I really, really appreciate everyone for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we post next. Peace.